And as we see now, it is a race to evacuate with the collapse in Afghanistan. So many questions are being raised here. Was this the right move or handled correctly? And what happens to the Americans who are trying to flee? And for more answers to those questions this morning, retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Atticott is joining us. He's a professor of law at St. Mary's University and the director of the Warrior Defense Project. Good morning, Jeffrey. Good morning. Mr. Atticott, I want to start off here. President Biden said to Americans there, we will get you home. Uh, do you think the Biden administration will be able to fulfill its promise here and get Americans back safely? That's the, uh, the big question. I mean, this is clearly a man-made crisis of our own making. And uh, in a rush to meet an artificial deadline, basically, we threw planning out the window and now we're facing a crisis that we have created. Uh, everyone hopes that it can be done, but it's gonna require some decisive leadership. There's no question about that. Well, and, and you just mentioned that the Biden administration have received, received a lot of criticism over what's happening right now. What do you think the president will, what, what are his next moves? Well, that's the that's the issue. Uh, we're in a very tight situation right now. And again, we did it to ourselves. Uh, this cascading effect of mistakes began when we gave up our airfield at, uh, uh, you know, at our at Bagram Air Force Base. And then just overnight, without a shot being fired, fell back. Um, in my opinion, of course, and, and again, I don't have all the facts. We need to do something right now. Every day, the Taliban, their position is getting stronger. Our position is getting weaker. And we're one incident from a major problem there. An American soldier gets killed, a terror attack, or something of that nature. We have to, you know, we have to be aggressive. And we have the unintended consequences, of course, that we don't know what's going to occur. But we do know that we have to operate from a position of strength. We are not in a position of strength right now. Mr. Atticott, uh, of course, we appreciate your service in our military. And I just want to get the emotion out of you, seeing the images that we keep seeing. Uh, with people trying to flee. Um, can you give me the emotional aspect from you, sir, in seeing those images? Well, I'm a problem solver. I did 20 years in the military, and yeah, we've got a lot of problems, a lot of things went bad, but we're in a very tight situation. What do we do now? How do we get out of here the best way that we can to rescue our citizens? We have probably taken out about 2,500. There's probably another 10,000. Many of them are not even in the capital city. Uh, it, it's a situation that uh, that's that's heart wrenching for all of us. Um, you know, we want to achieve the best result that we possibly can. Uh, I'm not one of those that wants to sit here a Monday morning quarterback, uh, but we have to realize what the situation on the ground is. In my opinion, we've got to go out and get them. Uh, they're not going to come to us. And one, uh, one uh, other question, one other question for you, Jeffrey, uh, you know, we're hearing, for example, that Border Patrol agents are being asked to volunteer to go overseas to help. You, you know, wh where exactly are we going to find the manpower to to work to, for the next steps? Yeah, this is another man-made crisis of our own making on the southern border. I mean, it didn't have to be this way. We had a very stable situation when this president came into office and uh, we don't have any border agents to send. We're asking border agents from other countries to come down to our southern border. So that has to be resolved as well. All right, Mr. Atticott, we certainly appreciate your time, sir, this morning and your perspective. Thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure, thank you.